Hi, my name is Angela, and in this video I'm going to be talking about uh, my PGY2 search. I'm going to specifically be focusing on PPS and PPM, which are two kind of processes I went through good looking for PGY2 um, programs that I didn't look for or didn't go through when I was in PGY1. So currently I am a PGY1 ambulatory care track resident, and so I'm looking for PGY2 ambulatory care programs. And so I'm just going to go through what I went through and also just a brief overview for those of you who don't know what they are because I had no clue until now. So I start with PPM because that's what came first. That is hosted by the American College of Clinical Pharmacy or ACCP. And it was virtual this year because of COVID. Um, it's very similar, I would say, to a kind of mid-year approach where programs come together, opportunities come together, and then they have candidates meet and you kind of talk and you kind of see what the opportunities are. But it happens before. So it happened in October, late October of 2021. So it's free, at least this year, because again, I don't know what it was in past years, but it's free for me to attend um, and make an online profile and an account. And you have to upload your CV, but it's really simple, kind of how you describe yourself on there, um, just a little bit about you. But you could look for programs. So there wasn't a ton of programs for PGY2. Um, but they did have a little bit of bio and they did have some programs I was interested in and their contact information. So you kind of just, you know, mark down the programs when they're going to be there at what time. It's from nine to five, but there are like two slots similar to mid-year how they have two different showcase times in their Tuesday session usually. But you kind of write down when programs are going to be participating when and then you, um, the day of, you just go to the same platform and you, you don't like save anything. You just go to the same platform and then they usually have a link where they say connect with the program or talk with the program. And for me, it was a link that took me directly to an external audio video uh, meeting, whether that was Zoom, you know, whatever, uh, WebEx. That's kind of how, how the process worked. And so I got to talk with some programs. It was really helpful early on to see what programs were recruiting because with PGY2, you never know if the program has PGY1 candidates who are um, early committing. So this one, you know, you probably knew that they were um, having open spots. So you could reasonably assume that they would have open spots um, by the time you applied. So once you met with programs there, um, you had the option for them to request a personal one-on-one -on -one meeting with you called a professional placement meeting. So that's where PPM comes from. And you got a link in your email if you wanted to be, if you were invited. It wasn't on the website anymore. And it went through, I think it was like a genius sign up or something like that, where you could sign up for specific time slots that they had open. And then again, you would get a link to that specific meeting's virtual, virtual platform. So I got a, a few and I, um, you know, it helped me connect with some programs that I was interested in early on. And then I didn't have to, or I didn't, you know, need to focus on them when it came time for ASHP and mid-year, um, which usually had a lot, much larger pool. So I enjoyed it. I would do it again, especially since it was free. So then PPS is part of ASHP's mid-year, and that stands for Personal Placement Services. So we're in December now. That's when it takes place during mid-year. And you search for residency programs, but also for job listings and a lot of other kind of positions that I probably don't even know of. But there were much more programs that I was interested in on that platform. Um, so it was something that I was um, recommended to by um, some of my mentors and it did have a cost, it was 130 bucks. And then you had to also be a registered for mid-year and that cost a certain amount, which I, it kind of fluctuated. I think they gave a refund this year, so I don't even remember how exactly the cost um, laid out, but that was an extra fee on top of that. So this is a different online platform aside from mid-year where you got access at the beginning of November if you wanted to sign up. And the platform was different than I expected. It just was very different than mid-year's plat virtual platform. But you have a messaging system, a calendar, and then your uh, search um, section where you get to look up programs. But um, you first start by making your profile where it's a little bit more detailed than the PPM profile and you upload your CV, but you have to input certain things that make it easy for uh, employers to search for you. So I put that I was um, willing to travel and interested in PGY2, so that way when they do their sweep and they put in those different um, factors of the candidates that it catches me and like, that's kind of, I think, a little bit more nuanced way for them to uh, have them look for you. And then um, the messaging system was very, um, I guess, easy to use, but every time you got a interview scheduled or got a message, it would automatically go to your email. So you always would get a, a, another copy of that, which I really liked. 
You can really easily update your profile, which I did several times because I kept having to edit my CV. So um, I think the platform overall was easy enough to use. And then um, after that, I think you can also still request uh, in interviews and stuff during mid-year. You know, I think in real time and in, in person, like it was prior to COVID, you just stop by a booth that was open and ask if they have time. But in this case, you would try to do the virtual um, requesting, I think either the day of, or, or I don't know how fast they would get back with you, but that's not something that I did. It's just something that you could do. But I was able to talk with several programs one-on-one -on -one, and really it was kind of hard for me to keep track because some of them were hosted through the platform. So if you go to the mid-year virtual showcase, they have the residency showcases, educational sessions, all the different stuff, but they have a section for PPS where they have listings of programs participating. You go to the booth and then you go to connect with the person you're going to talk with, which is usually the RPD. And once you talk to them and they join your chat, then you can start a video. So it's just, they have instructions on that, but you can use the platform itself. Even some of the program directors I met with didn't know that that's how it worked, but that's using ASHP's platform. But I would say a majority of people I met with said, hey, here's a Zoom link, here's a Google Meet link, here's a Teams meeting link, and it was through Outlook calendar. So I honestly prefer that just because there's sometimes like I started two chats once and I didn't even know it and then we had trouble connecting via audio video so I think people are more used to those other platforms so it was just nicer but I was also reached out to by several programs which is way different from PGY one year so I would say that my overall experience was very good I would 100% do it again because I just got to see programs that were recruiting early on which I didn't know about um, because, you know, again, that early commit process is just kind of unsure. And so it's just good to know what programs are for sure going to be looking for something so you can kind of safely say that you'll be able to apply. And then I had my name out there as a potential applicant for others to look at and programs reached out to me that I didn't even know I was interested in, but ended up, you know, really enjoying talking to them and learning more. So, and I really like the one-on-ones compared to the showcases. I mean, you just get way more of a personalized discussion and approach and get to know the people much better. So overall, it took some time to understand how PPM and PPS would work for me as a PGY2 interested candidate, but I was pleased I would do each of them again. I still did showcases just like as I was a PGY1 resident where I, I you know, asked my questions, met with people and talked with them. Um, so chat boxes and stuff like that, um, because some of them had external audio video but some of them didn't so I just would ask my questions in the chat box and write down the name of the person and they usually gave me their email so um so yeah and just last minute thing to note is that for PPS remember I said the section in the mid-year virtual showcase you go into a PPS specific section they have extra information that is not on their website typically not always but typically um so just like um, I, in the video I did for mid-year, PPS also, their booths, will have a bunch of different stuff. And just safely, you know, it's safe to say that you should grab what you can before mid-year closes because it's possible that they put extra stuff on there, on their PPS showcase booth, similar to like they would do on a mid-year showcase booth. But hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully it gives some insight into what those two things are, which I never knew about until now. Um, but if you like the video, go ahead and give it a like. Um, share it with someone else who um, may have to go through that in the future. Um, and comment below if you have any questions or any other videos that you want me to cover. Um, otherwise, I will see you next week.